If you've ever fished in the southern Gulf of Mexico, you are familiar with the Air Force Relay Towers. They are massive structures up to 100 feet in the sky going all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. They have the potential to hold big fish like cobia, African pompano, permit, snapper, grouper, and other sought after species. They are also bound to be loaded with other boats and lots of predators like barracudas, sharks, and goliath groupers. There are seven of them in my area. The tower we are at today is the R Tower, located about 30 miles offshore from me and 70 feet of water. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish. We are fishing these towers and areas around them solo today, looking for dinner. Using live and dead baits, as well as jigs and lures. As you can see, the conditions are a little sportier than I wanted, which is why we are at the tower. And about 70 feet of water, but we're marking a bunch of fish on the bottom. So I think we'll be uh, in business. All right, I'm gonna start off with this little paddle tail and jig head. See what we get. All right, I'm gonna start off with this little paddle tail and jig head. See what we get down there. Every tower has this loud beep that goes off occasionally. All right, we're getting bit. First fish on. Oh, he's still there, something small. Not what we're looking for, but these things are good baits, so we're gonna keep them. This is a squirrel fish. We'll definitely keep this guy's bait. All right, we're gonna drop this guy down, see what he gets. Eaten. Yep, he got eaten. Oh, it came off. No, Rawfish got eaten and came off. Murphy took the bait. Oh, no, he's back. Got him. Came off again. Jeez. Come on. We can take the bait this time. Gotcha. This doesn't feel like a big river. 18. I might keep though. One of that squirrel fish. This is the one we caught on that squirrel fish. Probably right about 19, maybe 20. I'm gonna measure them. No bites in the little paddle tail. We're gonna try this 120 gram Johnny Jigs. Got fish on the jig, first drop. Feels like another small grouper. Yep. 
Yep, another small rig grouper on the jig. Okay, so you really don't need to come out here with a thousand different baits to catch these fish. So, got a fish on squid, got a fish on the live bait, and now we got one on the jig. See you, buddy. Yeah, real simple. We're just gonna put on this dead thread fin on our 7 0 circle hook, knock a rig, three ounce weight, drop it to the bottom. This is on a pen slammer 6500 with 50 pound braid to 60 pound leader. And I've got a Shimano Talus PX jigging rod here. Let's see if we can grab a fish off the bottom. Current is ripping right now. Let's see. Yeah, he's on. Tiny one, small grouper. Juvenile red grouper ate that. that down. Dry squid now. See if anything wants the squid. I'm gonna put this light jig out. This is like a 3 8 ounce. I'm gonna drop it down, see what we get. Slowly lead it outline. Oh! Oh, he came off. No. That was a good fish. Come back, come back, buddy. of the day so far. Nice fish. This was a really good red grouper to put in the box, especially for this area and depth. Fish on this jig, ate it on the drop. Seems like another tiny Ray Rooper, but we'll see. red grouper. On 
this jig though. Got a fish on. Something tiny. Juvenile lane snapper. We're gonna try this little three quarter ounce jig, just a little piece of squid. Maybe we'll get some snapper on it or some grouper once it hits the bottom, we'll say. There we go, got a fish. What do we got? Another grouper. You literally can't get away from these things. It doesn't make sense that they are closing the season because you cannot go anywhere in the Gulf without catching these fish. So I switched up my setup and immediately got a nice macro snapper, probably like 12 inches. So I think I'm gonna fish with this lighter leader for a little bit and see what else I got. This is all I put on, just a knocker rig with about an ounce and a half, a little 2 -oh hook and a piece of squid. That's a fish. He's digging like a grouper. Definitely more of a challenge on these small spinning rods. This isn't even a big one, but you know, it's tough. On a spinning rod. This is what we caught right here. Probably about 16 inch red grouper. After looking into one too many juvenile red grouper, I switched gears and started to target snapper. I do that by using a tiny piece of bait and a small 3 or less hook, a lighter rod, a smaller leader, and a lighter weight. To get away from these red groupers, let's just try a tiny, tiny little piece of squid. Hoping a grouper will not eat that. There we go. Some tiny. Hopefully it's a snapper, but we'll see. Another mangrove. That's the second of the day. It does seem to be working using the later tackle. This is probably like a 12 inch mangrove. That's a fish. Another tiny one, feels like a snapper. He's kicking all the way up. Another mangrove. Got him. And these snapper are so aggressive down there. Let's pray 
all the way up. Not a bad mangrove. Look at that guy. This feels like another blue runner. I guess they have moved in over top of the snapper and they're surprisingly even more aggressive than snapper. Oh, I think there's another, another mangrove, yeah. Look at that. Nice. These are all like the same size, like 13, 14 inch mangroves, but I'll take them, man. I'll take them. micro red grouper. I know that they're down there, so I think I'm gonna drop that squirrel fish I caught down. See what'll bite that. This feels like a grouper on this chunk. Just a reminder, these guys are still down there. Red grouper. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. We had a pretty solid bite out here for a solo fisherman fishing only about 75 feet of water. Got our limit of red grouper and then switched gears, used a smaller bait, smaller hook, and caught our limit of mangrove snapper. So if you could please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it if you enjoy content like this. I wanted to end the video by sharing my advice on the towers. That would be to avoid them, unless it is the fall and you're specifically targeting Kobe on them. There are way better spots close by than the towers to fish. Fish some of the wrecks nearby, get a strike lines or see more chart, and try some of the natural or hard bottom in the area. You will find better fish and less predators in those areas than at the towers. Thanks for watching. This is Fisher Family Adventures.